going on? Thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto almost daily. Jump in right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin. This is actually the one hour chart. We'll start here at lower term time frame. We talked about this rising wedge, rising channel, 68% chance of a break to the downside. It happened. So you have this double top and the measured move is down here to support 25,500. All right, 25,000 doesn't hold. Then you can see 23,000, even $20,000 Bitcoin. Now, if we go over, this is the daily chart for Bitcoin. You see that the 200 simple moving average has been very important support and add for the bulls resistance. Until the bulls can flip and hold the daily 200 SMA, also, if we go to the weekly, now this is the weekly Bitcoin chart, and you see the 200 SMA is above the price action. You actually have a bearish retest of the price action, which is not amazing. Remember, the Bitcoin's just been working sideways in this range and hasn't been doing a whole lot. But Bitcoin halvings coming, bull market flips bullish. 2024, remember April 2024 is the halving. Two to four months prior to the Bitcoin halving, we've seen run up start in the past. Will we get a dip, which creates further buying opportunities for these altcoins and Bitcoin? It's entirely possible. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. Nailed Loom in 12 hours, 26% went to crypto bubbles. It was up about 40%. Amazing shout outs in the leverage trading group. If you're interested in learning to trade both ways, I can help you. We're making a ton of money, no matter what, what direction the market's moving. You can see we nailed Tomo for 963%, 9X, 633%, 188%, 138%, 123%. We're killing it. I'm telling you, send me an email, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. We'll get you in the group and we'll get you making money. That's what we do. Here. Now, if we look at this chart, this is, so first we have to talk about quantitative tightening, right? That's where the Fed starts to dump their balance sheet, right? They're dumping the assets that they hold onto the market. So if we go back here to 2018, you see this dotted line, quantitative started, quantitative tightening started the first time since the Great Recession. And so you see obvious Bitcoin downside. Uh, Bitcoin ran all the way down to about 3150. And then you had many quantitative easing, easing. That's where essentially they're buying assets off of the open market and you don't have the government purposely dumping the stock market. So you saw Bitcoin run up to about 14,000 right here. Then you had panic situation drop, right? And then quantitative easing. So the government at that point, again, they're, they're adding their balance sheet. They're buying, buying, buying. And that creates a lot of upside for the stock market. But it also works well for Bitcoin price trends. You can see this is the correlation between Bitcoin central bank liquidity and Bitcoin's price trends. And you've seen a clear upside right after panic situation and quantitative easing. Now, the start of the current quantitative tightening sequence was back here in 2022. Summary of the Fed meeting minutes that we just talked about a day ago, the balance sheet reduction could continue for some time. So that means that the government is gonna to continue to dump assets off of its balance sheet and this hasn't been good for Bitcoin in the past. Fed is committed to higher for longer as far as the rates, but is proceeding cautiously. So again, not amazing. We need some quantitative easing for some Bitcoin upside according to this idea. Leading decentralized exchange Uniswap released a crypto mobile wallet for Android on Thursday. We're gonna be doing the same for Apple iOS platform soon. The apps in beta and the company is inviting members of the DeFi community to test the wallet. Basically 35,000 users have already signed up for the waitlist. So there's huge demand. If you could just imagine 
This is huge for the United States, obviously being able to pick up trade any asset you want on Uniswap with your phone. So that's huge. This is huge. MasterCard tests CBDCs on Ethereum in Australia pilot. The trial is focused on showcasing interoperability between private and public blockchains. And really that's the key is we talked about financial institutions that are forming their own private blockchains. Can they use public blockchains like Ethereum? Clearly they're testing in not so amazing central bank digital currencies, but Ethereum. And when you're thinking about different blockchains to use, like Ethereum isn't one of the fastest and gets bogged down. However, you put MasterCard and Ethereum in the same sentence, this is big for crypto. MetaMask is expanding its crypto on-ramp options with Stripe integration. So users are going to be able to deposit fiat and receive cryptocurrency through this on-ramp. The Stripe on-ramp feature is available through its mobile app, its browser add-on, and its multi-featured portfolio service. So the more money and easier that money can flow into this market, the better. Because when this market takes off, we just want people to be able to pump the heck out of it. And we are going to take their money. Because they won't take profits. They'll diamond hand things and brag about it. And we will know to sell close to the top, take profits on the way up. Everything's changed. You guys obviously have learned through experience that you can't just hold these coins endlessly. Right? Diamond handing doesn't work in the bear market, clearly. Standard Charter is saying Ethereum price can reach $35,000. Here's when. I don't want you to get caught up on these price points and price predictions, but Ethereum can definitely hit high, bigger multiples than Bitcoin, but Bitcoin has the X factor. You could see a Bitcoin spot ETF launched. See a Bitcoin spot ETF and Bitcoin is going to act like an altcoin. But, but Ethereum, again, is going to be a strong coin. You want to be in some of the bigger coins for you know, more stability, better risk management as far as your portfolio goes. The smaller cap coins, you'll definitely hit smaller, you'll hit bigger multiples, but there's, there's more risk there. So you spread out a little bit into the larger caps and mid caps and then the small caps. If you have a smaller bag, we're going to be trading a lot of the small caps, a lot of moon bag picks on the smaller exchanges. Definitely make a Mexi account. VIP links in the description. A lot of those coins just coming off of the DEXs and real easy to trade on centralized exchanges and a lot better liquidity versus the DEXs. So we talked about how Ethereum has been in a downtrend versus Bitcoin, right? But what you've seen is a possible break to the downside of this falling wedge. So if you get this bearish retest here, you're potentially going to see Ethereum continue to dump compared to Bitcoin, right? But we're watching Ethereum. Ethereum has been weaker than Bitcoin. Crypto selling pressure intensifies following higher than expected CPI. And a lot of the inflation numbers came out and they were hotter than the market expected. And it's not amazing. And so what is the Fed going to do? Are they going to raise rates? Do we get one more rate hike before the end of the year? Or are they just going to pause? Like they're, they were in a situation where they're really pushing, the Fed is pushing to lower inflation and it's starting to creep higher. So they're pretty much obligated at some point to raise rates again. Not amazing for overall markets. But how will this affect Bitcoin and crypto? I'll keep you updated. This is the total three. So this is all the altcoins besides Ethereum. And then Bitcoin also isn't included. One of the most important things about this chart, let's go back here. So this is 2017. You had altcoin mania, right? And then retrace. At when Bitcoin was running up after the panic situation, you had mega altcoin rally, right? And then another one after the big dip. Now... All coins have been crushed. You're putting in lower highs. So here's your high. This is a lower high. This is a lower high. Now, this could be a triangle, be symmetrical triangle, descending triangle. The most important thing is patterns aside, if this previous resistance 
holds as support, this is good for altcoins. But if all if, if total three breaks to the downside of this level, like you're going to see a lot of altcoins getting crushed, right? We talk all the time about how a lot of these altcoins, 95% of these altcoins just get completely crushed. Definitely the small caps, right? Small micro caps, they just fade away. But when, when this price action on total three starts to work higher, you're going to see altcoins perform a lot better. And I, we're not there yet. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.